Dream Hey Dreamer, please. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be talking about enchantment. So this is a system that is newly included in the latest update and we are gonna start off by saying what is enchantment and how do you do it. Basically enchantment is using scrolls, these new items, and you are gonna add substats to your equipment. Okay, they are random substats and how do you get these scrolls? Um, they are actually from the general store at the moment. There are four types of scrolls that you can have, the common, the greater, the rare, and the legend. So you all you need to do is to get these scrolls from the common shop right now. In future, they may be added a few expedition drops, which will be pretty good for everyone, okay? So they will come more naturally. But I think this is a very good buy at the moment, okay? 10 rare enchantment scrolls and 100 boxes, 100 scrolls basically uh, for gold, and you can spend 2,000 rubies weekly for 100 legend scrolls as well which is really really worth it in my opinion so if you open the 100 boxes daily you do get a healthy amount of scrolls and you can even get some legend scrolls as well and you can hoard them especially if you are free to play i think this is going to be a very important uh, place that you want to get your scrolls from so apart from that you can also craft your scrolls and upgrade them i'm sure many of you are looking at this screen right now and be like oh my god he's doing it he's doing it he's actually upgrading all the scrolls yes i did it <laughs> okay but yes um, most people say that you don't shouldn't upgrade the scrolls right now especially at the beginning because these scrolls even the rare and greater ones can be used to upgrade many many items uh, right now and all these will increase your cp okay so even if you use the greater uh, scroll it can give you one to two attributes and even the um, rare one can give you two to three and the legend one gives you three hundred percent chance uh, of three new substats okay so the weapon takes up two scrolls, okay, no matter what kind of scroll it is, the weapons always take up two scrolls. All you need to do is to just, you know, feed the scroll to the weapon and you will get these random subsets popping out, okay, these enchantment results. It is completely, completely random. There is no way you can save one and keep changing the other two, okay, always, um, all three will be changing whenever you enchant. However, if you do not like the result, you can not accept it. So you can actually keep whatever current enchantments you have and then continue to roll them and see what else you get. And if you get a better one, then you can click apply and it will apply. Okay. So yes, there's a chance that you can use your greater scrolls to get two substats instead of one, like what I did, I don't know why I did that. Uh, you do see, you do get CP increases uh, as you enchant your items. So this is a very, very good way to quickly increase your box CP, okay? And you can use all these greater and rare ones to do so for all your weapons. The legend ones, I would strongly suggest um, keeping it for a while or you can use them on your PvP team because PvP does require more immediate attention in order to climb faster or maintain whatever position you have as you can see using the legend scroll to get three substats increases your cp by quite a fair amount okay so what you can do is firstly use the blue scroll because there's a chance to get three substats and then when you get the three substats you can then use the red scroll to re-roll uh, for all three substats and see what you get okay or if you are really not wanting to go by rng you can just use your red scroll to roll for all your pvp gear it will amount to about six per set okay so you need about 24 legend scrolls for your entire pvp set which you know you can easily get just from the spending 400 rubies uh, in the shop okay so this is what I'm doing. I'm basically just uh, going through all my gear, doing it one by one. As you can see, it immediately gives about 300 CP already, regardless of whatever substat it is. So it may not be the best substat, and that was something we'll talk about later. Uh, but for now, this is just a very brief summary. So there are four kinds of scrolls. In future, we'll get a radiant one. And then we also will be able to obtain them daily and weekly. It will increase the CP of your box. And these are the possibilities of rolling certain amount of attributes. So the greatest scroll has 40% chance to give you two attributes and the rare scroll actually has 40% chance to give you three attributes. Okay, so before we move on, I'm sure many of you are thinking how many substats are there exactly and what substats appear on which item. So this is going to tell you everything. 
We have about 14 substats, but not all of them will be applicable and appearing on all the various equipment, okay? So we have the three basic substats, and then we have skill cooldown, decrease combo chance and combo resistance, ignore defense efficiency and ignore defense resistance, block rate and block efficiency, increase your overall damage dealt, attack speed, crit rate and crit damage. First, I will show you guys the minimum maximum amounts you can get for these substats per se. So all the scrolls, okay, all four types of scrolls can give you the chance of having the maximum value. However, the lower threshold, okay, as you can see, the minimum value that's a range varies with the scroll. So for example, for the attack stat, the common scroll has a minimum value of 5 all the way up to 42. So the range is huge and it only gives you one substat anyway. And for the legend scroll, it actually gives you between 21 to 42. So the range is much narrower. So there's a higher chance that you may get a higher number. So this is something you need to take note and it will apply to all the various substats as well. So of course using the legend scroll will give you a higher chance of a better stat. So then comes the very common question, is there a list of substats for each type of weapon? Yes, there is. Not every substat will appear on every single type of gear. So as you can see here, I've put out all the percentages. You will see that there are some that are slightly lower in chance, okay? While some are pretty high and some don't even appear at all. So just taking the weapon for example, you will never ever get a defense and HP substat on your weapon, okay? And you will never get a block rate one. You will also never get a crit rate and crit damage one. You can possibly roll an attack one at a very low chance, okay? Compared to something like uh, combo resistance, for example. So these certain substats tend to be rarer on various items as you can see from the orange ones that I have denoted. So why is there this differentiation in the probability? Well the reason for that is because these attributes are actually going to be much more powerful on those particular items. You may want to view this on the computer because the font is pretty small and I'm very sorry about that but there's only so much I can squeeze in. Okay, so let's just take the attack stat for example. Now if you roll the attack stat on the helmet and the gloves, okay, two other places you can find the attack substat. They will have a maximum value of 42 only. However, on the weapon, the maximum value is 84. It's double that of wherever else you can find it, okay? And the minimum value is also doubled. Okay, so instead of having a minimum value of 5 from the common scroll and a minimum value of 21 from the legend scroll, you actually have a minimum stat of 9 to 42. So this means that the range possibility of getting a good attack substat is also widened because if you look at the regular rates, it's between 21 to 42, which means the difference is 21 points in total. However, on the weapon, using the legend scroll, you will have a variance of 42 points in attack substat. So this is a lot bigger, but you do get a better attack substat than what you find on the helmet and the gloves. And the same applies for all the other substacks. They all have respective pieces that allow you to get a much better value out of it. And in the long run, this is what you need to keep in mind because I'm sure at this point, no one is going to care about all these values and which piece is better for what substat because right now everyone is just rushing to get their pieces increased, enchanted and get their CP increased basically. But in the long run, once you have already enchanted your main set, this is something you want to look into. It's about min-maxing uh, all your gear and seeing what is the best, okay? So for example, you can look at the helmet. The helmet has a slightly lower rarity for crit rate and crit damage. So this is where you want to think about which heroes need crit rate and crit damage and it is through this method of enchantment that you can boost their crit rate and crit damage to a much higher value compared to just rolling crit rates on for example the gloves okay which is the other alternative and rolling crit rates on the gloves will not give you a better value than rolling the crit rate on the helmet of course you can roll crit rates on both but if you only can roll for one, the crit rate on the helmet will always be superior to the crit rate on the glove, okay? So just look through the list and give yourself some time to understand the values. And I think this in the long run will help you a lot more in terms of strategizing which pieces ought to have what substat, okay? 
And it was pretty interesting because uh, my friend Dennis was supplying me with so much information about this so that I can actually get something informative out. Um, I actually came across this and this is the rates of the various subsets on the Korea server right now based on whatever I found on the forum. Um, it seems that their substat percentages of occurrence are all even. There's no lower substat chance and there's no higher substat chance. So this could be a direction that we will head into in future. Not too sure at the moment because right now you did see that there are varying percentages of uh, some substats being rarer to get. Okay, But this could be an eventual thing where all the subsets have equal chance of coming out. Okay, we never know. So of course comes the most important question. So what substats should I be re-rolling for? Okay, so this is gonna be the table I've designed. I will give you some examples of all the gear sets that you can use mainly in PvP and PvE. And for your convenience, I have also put up the various substats that you cannot find on the particular gear. For example, for the weapon, you will never find defense, HP, block rate, crit rate, and crit damage. Same goes for all the other pieces. And I've also put up the rarer subset with the blue tick. Okay, so these are the ones that have a much bigger variance and have a much higher amount. And re-rolling for them is going to be better, okay, in the long run. So it's very important to think about heroes using the certain gears in terms of their roles. Okay, I'm sure in the short run right now, no one is going to pay very specific attention to these substats at the moment. Okay, but in the long run, when you have more gear sets being built and you have more scrolls to spare, you know, you will start looking at all the little things and seeing which piece of substat is going to be very suitable for certain types of heroes. Right now, I'm sure many, many people are just, you know, reusing various gear sets they're all maybe you only have four gear sets for your pvp and you're reusing them for your pve side that's totally normal okay but eventually you're gonna have various sets of gears and maybe you will have a specific set for a certain hero okay so that is why i decided to split up everything according to the roles because for the pvp side attack speed is definitely gonna be a must role for all your heroes okay regardless of whether they are tanks regardless of whether they're supports, they will need the attack speed for advantageous purposes. Now, for the PvE side, for the weapon, of course, you the best substats you can have on this are the attack combo chance and attack speed. And do bear in mind again, that these three substats are the rarer ones with the higher variance. So you have a higher maximum possible value. So if you really want to push for the maximum possible amount of damage on your particular damage dealer in PvE, you need to pump the weapon, you need to get very high substats for these three substats, okay, attack, attack speed and combo chance. But there's one point that I came across online saying that in the long run, attack on the PvE dealer may not be very good. The reason is because you're going to have much higher codex buffs, you're going to have um, all sorts of uh, even higher hero leveling, you're going to have even higher hero potentials okay there's going to be expansions in hero potentials in future and while all these are increasing your weapon attack stat is not going to increase okay so this in turn becomes less important because your weapon attack stat is going to be much smaller relative to all the other growths your hero is going to get okay so in future you may want to not have the attack stack on your PvE dealer. You may want to go for increased um, ignore defense efficiency, okay? Or you want to go for increased damage dealt overall. So these are possible options that you can keep on your weapon, okay, for PvE purposes. And if you currently already do have one of those, you, you can keep it, okay? I specifically labeled those that you should not re-roll away in orange right now. So uh, if you manage to get those in orange, try to keep those substats on your piece of gear right now and they will be very useful in the long run. Now for tanks and support, of course attack speed is important whether it's PvP or PvE because the faster they attack, the faster they will charge their ultimates and I think that's very beneficial in any context. Of course skill cooldown is very good as well because the tanks need to constantly increase and uh, defend your team or cast links and whatsoever, supports will have better healing time as well, okay? So for the helmet, 
attack speed again for your PvP side. And of course, for the helmet, the main, main, most important uh, substat is crit rate and crit damage because these two have a much higher variance, right? So for PvE dealers, you definitely want to pump your crit rate and crit damage on the helmet to a very high amount if possible okay if possible of course i'm not asking you to do it right now when you have a lack of scrolls but in future when you have more scrolls to play around with this is something you want to come back to okay and then for the tanks the block rate and the defense or hp is very beneficial for the support you want to go with the block rate or the defense or HP. Of course, you may think that, oh, if the crit rate and crit damage variance is so good on the helmet, why not give it to the tanks and support as well? You know, that's actually a very possible thing, okay? Because what I've read is that if you land crits, your ultimate gauge charges faster. So there's an alternative point of view that the tanks and support can also make use of this crit rate increase so that whenever they land crits, they can actually charge their ultimate gauge faster ultimately you know leading to more beneficial results so that is one possible um, thing as well so if you did roll a crit rate for your tank set or your support set you may want to keep it for now and then decide later whether you really want to change it for a defense roll or hp roll or block rate roll okay next up we have the armor so the armor is more specialized than defense skill cooldown um ignore defense efficiency Okay, so of course you definitely want the ignore defense efficiency because this is going to be very very good in all in both PvP and PvE and of course keep the attack speed on your PvP ones. The skill cooldown is possibly the next great one because as I mentioned the skill cooldown substat is also going to have a higher variance in the armor, uh, armor piece. So for support skill cooldown is very very important here. Okay, defense as well. I think tanks and support will definitely appreciate the increased defense variance. Uh, if you get a much higher amount of defense here, it's going to be very good. The numbers may not look very big, but they do play a part ultimately. Okay, next up we have the gloves. So for the gloves, again, just a reminder, you can never get attack speed from the glove while all the other pieces you know, you can reroll for an attack speed substat. Okay, so for the gloves for the PvE and PvP side, I think it's pretty much the same. You want to boost the crit rate and crit damage and attack. Okay, because all the other more important damage dealing um, substats are kind of not around. Like combo chance and doubt damage, they are not found on the gloves. Uh, for the PvE side, you can also opt for increased ignore defense efficiency okay over attack because as i mentioned in the long run attack may not be that big of a deal whereas ignore defense efficiency can actually make a bigger difference especially in terms of end game pve bosses okay for the tanks block rate and block efficiency is going to be extremely good for your tanks um, skill cooldown or defense is also going to be okay for supports you can go with defense or hp and skill cooldown as well so for the support side there's nothing much you can also go for block rate of course definitely also viable but i think uh, defense or hp to boost their tankiness is probably more appropriate because ultimately block rate is something that you know you should because block rate ultimately is something that is still chance based so if you don't have a very high amount of block rate in the first place, I don't think just adding one substat roll for block rate is going to make a big difference. Okay. And finally for the boots, okay, you can never get attack and defense on it. You can never also get block rate and crit rate. So what you want to focus on here is more of the damage doubt, the crit damage, because doubt damage here is going to have a much higher variance. So definitely give it to your PVE and PVP dealers for your tanks and support HP here has a much higher variance, so it's gonna be great. As you can see, out of all five pieces, all the supports will have skill cooldown so that they can rush their heals for you and really, really be a great support unit. Okay, attack speed as well. I think it's good to give all of them attack speed rolls on all your support gear as well. Okay, so these are just some of the ideal substats which I feel will really benefit you and I also plug them from various Korean sources as well so I really hope this helped and gave you a much clearer idea because even when I was doing my research it really did open my eyes to a lot of things so I hope this helped and if it did do give a like and subscribe to my channel big shout out to my channel members 
Christopher, Tom, Gonzalo, Jeremy, Fahas, Bilal, Reggie, and Yamaki for their support. Stay tuned for more videos. Thank you so much, and see you!